Welcome back to another lesson. Uh, the first sentence we're going to look at is, What are you doing? Moody biwade wit for masculine or moody biwade wat uh, for feminine. Uh, and then you'll also see that some of these are shortened. Um, someone might say moody biwadit or moody biwadet. Uh, they'll combine the last two, these last two words, they'll combine them and just say biwadit. Why are you, question mark, why are you eating? Kamudi. So, moody is what? Kamudi is why? Kamudi uh, bichalawit. Why are you eating? And you may also hear this as kamu. And sometimes that just means why. Kamu. Why. And then kamudi is why are you kamudi? Kamudi with parhata. Where are you going? Eika bizale with. Or eika bizale what? Um, some people may also say brishka. Eka brishke wit or brishke wat. This is a bit more informal. Um, and it's related to this word khishle. He went. Eka bizale wit. Eka bizale wat. When do you want to? When do you want to have dinner? And so on. Iman bayat or iman bayat. Iman bayat akhlat or iman bayat akhlat. When do you want to eat? Iman bayat akhlat. And then I do not want to eat. Le bayan akhlin or le bayan akhlan. Akhlin or akhlan. I want to. Bayan or bayan. Akhlan or akhlan, to eat. So notice that the I, N, and the yin and lin, bayan akhlan, masculine, bayan akhlan, feminine. Are you? Iwit or iwat? Iwit gu madrasa, are you in school? Uh, so madrasa is one way to say school. Um, the proper formal way is madrashta. Iwit gu madrashta or iwat go gu madrashta. Iwit kipina, are you hungry? Iwat kipinta, are you hungry? Feminine. And notice here uh, the actual root of the word changes. Uh, instead of th just the ending, like kpita, to make it feminine, the the actual root changes. So, iwat kpina versus iwat kpinta. Okay, here's um, here are some verbs, and then we'll see the significance of adding the b sound at the beginning. So, the singular command form. For these, for these words are on the right side. Um, and then the action one is here, eating. Okay, so eat is chol versus bechala. I am eating. Iwan bechala. I am eating versus I tell someone chol. Cook is bashil. Bashil. And cooking, bashule. Clean, tamiz, cleaning, tamuze, go, zul or khush, um, they're both used, bizala or brishka, going, come, ta, coming, bitaya, sleeping, dmuch, Sleeping, sleep is dmuch, sleeping is bidmacha. 
So e with bidmacha, you can ask, you can you can add all these into the underlines above. E with bidmacha, rising or getting up. Bqiyama, uh, to rise or to get up. Qu, sitting. Bityawa, and just to sit. Two. Walking, bijwaja, and to walk, juj, running, brachata, this is a ta, ta sound, so I put a D and a T, it's not a T sound, it's not brachata, it's ta for the letter taat, and then run is rachot, jumping, chayude, to jump, chud. Working, placha. Work, pluch. Shopping, bizwana. Bizwana is actually more buying. Um, that's what you're doing when you're shopping. Shop, zun, or buy, zun. Resting, menyuche. And rest is menyech. And these are both masculine and feminine forms. Okay, to pray, sali, and then praying is saluye. Bathing, bechiapa, to bathe, chop. Swim is schi, or beschaya. Dancing, berkada, dance, rakud. I have to roll the R. Rakud. Rakud. Singing. Bismara. Sing. Zmur. Reading. Bakaraya. And when you read. Qari. Writing. Biktawa. And to write. Ktu. Similar to sitting. Tu, ktu. Studying, same thing as reading, bqraya. Teaching, malupe, to teach, malip. Speaking, hamzume, speak, hamzim. Calling, maghbure, call, maghbur. Texting, you can just use biktawa, writing. Wasting time, maware dana, two words, maware dana. And that's all for today's lesson. Thank you.